so uh, welcome. Thank you, first of all, to all of you for joining us here this evening at the beautiful Royal Festival Hall for our annual celebration of the finest television this country has to offer. Honestly, so much great TV, isn't there? I tell you, you've all been working harder than the plug-in air freshener at the Ecuadorian Embassy. <laughs> That's hard. That is working very hard. Uh, if you, well, I must remind you, if you have tuned in to see the final episode of Line of Duty, uh, I'm afraid you missed that. That was last week. But uh, all you need to know is... <laughs> it's not a spoiler. Nobody knows what it means. <laughs> Clutching at straws. We don't know. <laughs> Line of Duty, though, everyone loved it. The interviews, oh, they're incredible. A more forensically detailed interrogation of times, dates, and mobile phone data hasn't been seen since that time Sean Walsh got home late from Strictly Practice. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. You snog one dancer. Oh. <laughs> eh? <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, the country became bitterly divided this year after a controversial extension was granted to give more time. People were angry, particularly as Raoul then went on to win Bake Off. Um, <laughs> every week after an era of judgment, a baker gets kicked out. This week, it was Danny, literally a showstopper. Like things really moved on this year. You know, we now have a female host of Question Time, an all-female lineup on Newsnight. It's fantastic. Not only great for equality, but it saves the BBC a fortune. <laughs> um, now, don't, don't applaud that. Don't clap at that, Tess Daly. <laughs> a full disclosure, by the way, a woman wrote that joke. I'm just reading these things aloud, okay? <laughs> Uh, television has continued uh, to embrace the modern LGBTQ world with programmes such as Butterfly, Queer Eye, and soon to come, Drag Race UK. Yeah, I know. Not to mention Danny Dyer's brave decision to live simultaneously as a middle-aged man and a young woman. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, one of my favourite TV moments of the year was when Bez from the Happy Mondays went on Bargain Hunt. I know. If you're watching, Bez, seriously, that did happen. You did do it. <laughs> hey, and what about Killing Eve, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, we all love it. Jodie Comer and Sandra Oh. Ooh, have you ever seen such an enthralling love-hate rivalry played out between two actresses on television? Well... Keep watching, because they can't both win tonight. <laughs> uh, hey, let's mention the Bross documentary. Their boys are here. Uh, it really was. It was must-see television. Now, a lot of people have argued about which one emerged with the most dignity. Well, I'd say on balance, it's probably the bassist Craig who declined to take part. <laughs> uh, Keely Halls from The Bodyguard, she's here, hello. I know. I feel... I feel I should say hello now, because if Jed McCurry has anything to do with it, you won't see the end of the show, will you? No. <laughs> or will she? <laughs> uh, now, if you are going to do a speech tonight, if you are a winner, uh, please be like David Budd in The Bodyguard and say as few words as possible. <laughs> now, when it comes to award shows, I have a mantra. It's the same one I used before sex. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. <laughs> so, let's take a look at what a fantastic year we've had in TV.